Okay, we're going to find an integrating factor in the form of x to some power times y to some power for this almost exact differential equation. So we know that if this is the integrating factor, once we multiply everything by that, the result will be exact, right? So let's go ahead, multiply everything by, well, we just have x to some power at the moment. I don't know what n is. Likewise, I also don't know what m is, but we still do it the same way, right? So we do that, and then we do this right here, and this, we of course also put this down just for fun, x to the n power, y to the n power. Okay, so now let's see what do we have right here. I'm going to do this in blue. This times that is pretty nice. It is just 12 x to the n power, y to the n power, and then we do this times that. So we add it with 5. This times that is x to the nth power plus 1. So let's put that down. And we have y times this, right? So we have y to the m plus 1. And this is it for the dx, okay, together. And then next, we take this times that, so we add it with, let's put on a 6, x, x to the nth power, we will have x to the m plus 1. And then, this is y to the m times y to the negative 1, therefore we'll have y to the m minus 1. And then this times that, we add it with 3, x squared times that is x to the m plus 2. And then this times that is just y to the m, and this is for the dy. And don't you guys like zero so much? Because this times that is still zero. And this is what we have. And let me tell you, you know, we have to make an exact equation right here, right? So that means this right here, or well, let me just label that as the function capital M. And let me label this as the function capital N. We want to do the partial derivative now, right? And let me just write my N better, otherwise it doesn't look like an N. Okay, perhaps it's better, perhaps not, I don't know. All right, anyways, let's do the mixed partial derivative. So right here, let me just write down. We will have to take the partial of m with respect to y, isn't it? Because this was dx already, we do this with respect to y. And now, let's look at this right here. The 12 is just 12, so let me write it down. And this is also a constant right, in the y world, but y to the m power, we take the m, bring that to the front, and then minus 1. So we will have the m in the front like this. And we will have y to the m minus 1. And then we continue. We add the 5x to the nth power plus 1. That's just a constant, so let me just put this down. 5x to the m plus 1. But for this, I will take this, bring that to the front, and then minus 1. So we will have m plus 1 like this. And then y to the m's power. This is what we have for the partial of m as the function. And then we do that with respect to y. For this, we do this, the partial, with respect to x. So let me label this right here for you guys. N sub x, this is going to be... Okay, now this is the variable, so we'll have to bring this to the front, right? So let me just write it as n plus 1 times 6. And then don't forget to minus 1, so we'll have x to the nth power. And this is still y to the m minus 1. And next, we bring this to the front. So let me write down plus m plus 2. And we have this 3 right here. And we have 2 minus 1 for the power, so we have x to the m plus 1. And then y to the m power. Right? And this is what we have. Well, we have to make sure that they are the same, so that this right here is going to be exact. Right? Well, let's look at the first part. You see that x to the n, x to the n match. This and that match. So that means I will just have to match this right here, isn't it? That's the first condition. And likewise for the second part, the second term here. This and that match. This and that also match. Well, that means this part shall match. And the plus sign, they match already. This is what we have to do. Okay. You see this right here is just 12m. And you see this right here, you distribute it 6n plus 6. We must have 12m equals to 6m plus 6. And let me write this down right here. 12m has to be 6n plus 6. And next, we have this. Distribute the 5, we have 5m plus 5. So this right here, it has to be the same as this times that, which is 3n plus 6. So let me put that down. 5m plus 5 has to be that, 3n plus 6. 
Okay, system of equations, right? So let's go ahead and do the usual business. Let's bring everything to the left hand side for the variable and the number on the right hand side. So for this, the first one, we will have 12m minus 6n, and that will be 6. And then for the second one, let's keep the 5m here. Bring this to the other side, we will have minus 3n, and subtract 5 on both sides, we will have just 1 on the right hand side. And this right here is what we have. And do it whichever way that you want. I see I'm just going to get rid of the n. So let me multiply the second equation by negative 2. And let me multiply negative 2 and put the result right here. This time that is negative 10m. This time that is positive 6n. This time that is going to be negative 2. Okay. So now I'm going to combine the first and the new equation. All in all, this and that will be 2m. Negative 6n and positive 6n, they cancel each other out, right? So that's good. This and that, so 6 minus 2 is 4. So you see that m has to be 2. Right, divide by 2 on both sides. And now, I'm going to plug in 2 for m into one of these equations, up to you which you have 1. Let me just use the top one. 12 and the m is just 2. And minus 6n equals to 6. Just do this real quick. This is 24. Minus 6n is equal to 6. Minus 24 on both sides. This is negative 6n equals to negative 18. You see that n is equal to uh, positive 3. Okay? So, m is 2 n is past these three. Uh, as you can see, the answer for this will be, here just let me write it down, the special integrating factor. It's really special this time, right? n is the power for x, which is 3. So we are going to use x to the third power. And the m is 2. So I put down 2 right here for the y, y squared. And this is what we are going to use. This is what we are going to take and multiply the original equation so that you end up with the exact equation. So try it. I'm just going to show you how to find this kind of special integrating factor. Okay? So that's it.